Hi, this is Terry Lowe, publisher of Projection Lights and Staging News, giving you the inaugural episode of PLSN TV, live from the Infocom Show in Anaheim, California. I'm with superstar Fred McKeska of AC Lighting. Fred, what do you have at Infocom this year? Richard, Richard, we have a bunch of great new products at Infocom. First, I'm going to show you the DTS Delta. It's made by DTS in Italy. I'll come over and show you some of the Chroma Q product, and then we'll take a quick peek at the Jans Vista. So if you walk over this way, and we're going to look at the DTS Delta. The Delta is a high-powered LED fixture that does a beautiful job of rendering solid colors and it does a white, a tungsten white that you've never seen in an LED fixture and it does a real beautiful daylight white. So I can go from a real deep magenta type look to a real nice, that would be a daylight and we have st stepped our variable color temperatures from 5500 to 3200 and then we also have variable whites from 30 to up to 55 but a very, very bright fixture, IP65 rated, so you can run it outside. You can set twilight levels so that it comes on at a certain intensity in the evening and goes off in the morning. Uh, it's a great fixture. We're having a lot of success with it. Next is a new product from Chroma Q called the Color Split. And the Color Split is down in the corner. A unique feature with the Color Split is it really does a beautiful job of rendering color real wide and real high, a very bright LED fixture, but we can actually split color on the LED and give you two different colors out of one fixture, which is very unique. So if you're uplighting drape or if you're uplighting truss with maybe a truss sock on it, it gives you two effects in one LED fixture. And again, very, very bright, includes amber with three watt LEDs. All right, this is the Jans Vista console. This is the T2, and Daryl Ross is going to walk you through our real quick scenario on the Jans Vista. If you look at the Vista, we're running four different types of fixtures, Verilite VL2000s, 2416s, Clay Packy Golden Scan 3s, and VL5s, moving mirror, moving yoke, color wheel, color mixing fixtures, and Daryl can grab four different types of fixtures, put them in a solid color, throw in a gobo, maybe make the fixtures on the end a different color. Lastly is the Chroma Q Color Web, and Color Web is a modular LED wall. It's one meter square, so three feet wide, three feet high. Modular in that you can make legs, borders, back walls. It's IP65, so you can run it outdoors. And right now we're running it on a, a copy of Pixelmad, which is a DMX mapping software. Very easy to use. Take it down, put it in a hamper, and it goes up and fills a big space for very little money. Thank you much. Take care. I'm with Art Zobel of Columbus McKinnon. They manufacture the ever popular Lodestar and the ProStar hoists. And uh, Art, can you tell us about what you're showing on display here? All right, what we're showing is a, a Pro Star hoist. We're also showing the, the load stars. This is the Pro Star, right? Pro Star, yes. 300, 500, and 1,000 pounds is the capacity that it goes in. And it lifts anywhere from 10 foot to 60 foot lifts or longer if required. And it runs off of uh, 110, 120 volt? 15 single phase, or, uh, also uh, 230, 460, three phase, 60 hertz or 50 hertz. And this is a load. This is a one-ton load star with a cutaway, or actually not a cutaway, but off. That's it. So we've taken the covers off so that we can see this double brake system. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, this is uh, not the typical braking system. This is a double brake. It has two stacked DC brakes on it that will want to have a delay between one and the other. People are getting this thing for the redundancy. It is part of the requirements for the BGVC1 over in Europe, but this is just one of the components that's required. But People are buying it more into the U.S. or requesting it, which is why we're showing it today. Great. Okay. Thank you. Hi. My name is Frank McClanis. I'm with Sanyo Presentation Technology. We're here at the Infocom June 07 show, and uh, we've got a lot of exciting things in our booth. Uh, one of the neat things is our uh, PLV80 Plus, which is a 16 by 9 projector with a split screen, which allows a um, 
teleconferencing, you can show uh, either double video or uh, uh, two uh, computer programs on the same screen, ideal for teleconferencing. We're also very, very excited about a new unit that will give you an 80-inch diagonal screen, and the projector only has to be three inches from the screen, and that's our XL50. Uh, that unit will be ready sometime in December, and it will be less than $5,000. Another exciting new unit is a 6,500 uh, lumen unit, a single lamp. Um, it's, called, it's the XP100L. And uh, it has a, um, a filter system that, ex that uh, changes itself. Once the filter uh, gets dirty, it automatically shifts to a clean filter, and it'll last up to 10,000 hours. Um, the last unit that we're pretty excited about is our, our latest entry into the DLP market. It's the XT100, uh, 5200 lumen, two-lamp system. Uh, and this will be our first entry into the DLP uh, units. Also, we have uh, two small portable wide XGA units, the WXU10 and the WXU11. Uh, these are small portable units, seven pounds, uh, that it, uh, goes after the uh, widescreen uh, computer market that people uh, need uh, projectors for. Uh, also, we are showing a, the XF47, which is a 15,000 lumen unit uh, with a built-in receiver that will uh, receive a wireless audio and video transmission from an HD source. Uh, the HD box is also uh, being manufactured by uh, Sanyo. Hi, this is Christian Delfino from Roland Systems Group, and at the Infocom show, we're showing the VC300 and VC200 multi-format media converters. The VC300 and 200 allow you to take in and out HDV and DV, analog component, the DVI, analog and digital, and HDSDI. Choose one of these as your output, set your, your new uh, format that you'd like, and send it out to that format. So, for example, what we're currently watching is an HDV uh, footage coming in 1080i through uh, a firewire port and it's being converted to 720p HDSDI, sending that out to our HDSDI monitor here. What we can also do is just change our input source to DVI analog and we'll pull in an RGB computer source at 1024 by 768 and that is now being converted to a 720p HDSDI source. So all different formats now shipping 9500 for the VC300 7,000 for the VC200 available now. Thanks for watching PLSN TV.